one touchdown game early in the fourth quarter when, when Anthony throws that pick in the end zone. Is that a case of just a freshman trying to make a play when he should play safe? Yeah, you know, that's a, a situation where, I mean, he's made, he made a lot of plays in a football game, you know, first and foremost. In the last two games, I mean, he's made a lot of, a lot of uh, really good football plays for us. Um, and that's just a situation where, you know, trusting too much, you know, in, uh, uh, in his ability to make a play. And that's where, you know, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna grow up. He's going to have moments on, where he's going to have to learn on the field. And, uh, you know, in that situation, you instruct him, you know, in the huddle. Hey, if it's not there, you know, throw it away. We got points. Uh, we're, in, we're in position to, to kick the field goal. Um, looks, looks like he had a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of pressure and he stepped up. That should have been his first indication right there, not to force it. Timing's, uh, timing's off at that point. Uh, not sure. I got to watch the film, but possibly could have pulled it down. Got something positive. Uh, he's just, you know, he's trying to make a play. You know, that's a young man that, that wants to win a football game. Uh, he's a fierce competitor, and he's just uh, trying to make a pay, play. And our job as coaches is to help him uh, learn uh, from situations like that uh, to get better in the future. Uh, Mike, then Jackie. Coach, you, you guys have been outscored, I think, 47 to 3 in the fourth quarter now. Obviously, tonight kind of skews that a little. But um, what do you see there? Uh, it's a matter of learning how to finish a game or, and how big a factor is depth. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna make any excuse from a from a depth standpoint. Depth is what it is. You know, if you're if you're out there on the field, it doesn't matter if you're a a, a fifth year uh, senior or a, or a freshman. I mean, you got to go play. The standard doesn't change. Uh, you know, the big thing that 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 you've seen in the last two weeks is, man, we got to go make the plays. Right? We can't we can't wait for somebody else to make the play. We can't hope that the team uh, across the field doesn't make the play. We have to go make the play, and uh, and so I got to do a better job of, of of reaching them and teaching them uh, to to you know help them understand the, the importance of every single play, uh, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, it's a mindset. You know, it's the mindset is that I got to get uh, the the longer I play, the stronger I get, the better I get, right? And then also understanding that uh, at that point in the game, effort's not enough. Enough. There's got to be precision, right? There's precision and execution. Uh, that just going out there and uh, and playing hard is is one one component of it. You got to play hard, but you got to play smart. You got to be precise, and you got to go make the play. You know, bottom line, you got to go make uh, the plays. And uh, it's a hurting football team in that locker room because uh, you know proud of them. They uh, they they got up off the mat from last week. Uh, they came to battle today. Uh, they fought their tails off. Uh, they believe uh, that they were going to win that football game. Uh, now we just gotta gotta make sure that that late in games our precision uh, is there, and then we don't leave anything to chance that we go and uh, we go and take it. And that's where I gotta do a better job as a coach, uh, just program wide, getting everybody to understand uh, what it takes uh, to to be able to do that in the fourth quarter. With Calandria being a, such a young player. What do you tell him after the way he ended the game compared to the way he started, but not make sure that doesn't carry on? Oh, you just tell him, man, learn from your mistakes and, and say, hey, look, that's, you know, where, where, where you're going to get better. Um, keep your head up. I mean, we're not in that football game if it's not for, for Calandria. Right, so you don't want him to lose his confidence, uh, and and the thing that I like about him and, and and what I what I saw and you know some of the great quarterbacks that I've been around. By the time he comes to the sideline, he already knows uh, what what mistake he made, and I think uh, with that you 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 can you can work with it. You know, if you're trying to explain to him, you know what the mistake was, uh, then you you got a little bit more work to do. But by the time he comes to the sideline, uh, he's he's processed it and he knows. Um, and 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 again, you know what makes him special is he believes he can make every play. But what we got to do as coaches is we got to try to uh, correct as many of those, as many of those mistakes and situations in practice before it gets to the gets to the game. Uh, but he'll learn from it. And uh, um, man, he's a he's a he's a competitor. Um, I know that he's hurting uh, more than anybody in there because man, he wants to win. Uh, it's just a, it's just a few plays and some chances you can't you can't take. And uh, and he'll learn and grow a lot from tonight. Tony. There's a lot of football left to play when it happens, but the kickoff return for touchdown. Yeah. What happened there, and what are the issues yeah. with your special teams? Uh, <laughs> great, great question. I'm glad you, you pointed that out. We, you know, we one we got to take more pride in the special teams, right? And and. You know, part of it is on special teams. We're giving some guys an opportunity to contribute, uh, but 
you know, it was a situation where, you know, the ball uh, was not placed where we wanted it to be placed uh, in particular. Uh, and our contained guy uh, was a little bit too wide and created a very large uh, crease. And then uh, they were able to get up on our uh, on our safety fitter with a lot of space and they got a blocker and then it's a foot race. Uh, so we'll get that. We'll get that corrected. Uh, we got to we got to uh, improve our placement of our kicks, the depths of our kicks. And then our guys have to be able to adjust uh, when the ball may not be in the in the exact spot. And just, you know, overall on special teams, we got to do we got to do a better job. And so I got to go go back and, and evaluate everything You know what we're coaching, you know, the guys that we that were uh, that we're playing uh, and figure out uh, who the best players are. Uh, that give us the best opportunity to uh, to be more consistent in special teams because it's two weeks in a row uh, where we've given up points uh, and we you know you can't spot a team you know seven points uh, on uh, on special teams uh, especially not the competition that uh, that we have to go against so uh, it's on me I'll get it fixed uh, and but I got to evaluate it all uh, and we got to get better. Uh, Greg Van Ann Parker, yeah, Tony, can, can you win with this many freshmen that year? It's five or six guys at least on defense, Calandria plus a few guys on offense. Oh, yeah, I think we can. I mean, if you look at, at the situation tonight, we're in this ball game uh, till till the fourth quarter with a chance to, to tie it up, um, uh, with a chance to win. Now, now, obviously, you know we're gonna have to grow them up fast. You know, they're gonna get on the job training, uh, but. You know we're we're not we're not gonna make make any excuses. You know our job as coaches is to is to whoever we put out there we got them have got to have them ready uh, to go. Um, and you know you know tonight hats off to Maryland they made the plays late in the game. Uh, but whoever we put out there we got to go win. The expectation uh, doesn't change uh, depending upon whether you're a fifth year or a, or a freshman. How much you need that learning curve for those guys? <laughs> You know, you you would like to be able to have some time and 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 not have to to force feed them and, and in essence make them drink from the fire hydrant. Um, but uh, but right now the situation is what the situation is, and and we got we got to roll with it. And uh, as I told the guys uh, in the uh, in the locker room, uh, we got we got our first ACC uh, opponent uh, at home, um, and so we're gonna. Uh, Pull ourselves up off the mat, just like we did last week. We're going to go to work. We're going to have a great week of practice, uh, and we're going to go try and get our first victory uh, in Scott Stadium next week. Uh, Ann Parker, then Mike. Yeah, like you said, ACC play starts next week. How do you, in the locker room, make sure guys aren't hitting the panic button or just getting down on themselves after after the start? You know, um, you know, first thing is is I told the guys I'm really proud of them. Because they had a decision to make uh, after last week. You know, you lose a heartbreaker there at the end. Um, you don't finish the game uh, that you that you had uh, under control in the fourth quarter. And uh, but they came back, and that's that's what I told them. We're going to do the same thing. That's that's going to be what our DNA is uh, as a uh, as a program. That man, we're we're going we're going to respond. And if we get knocked down, we're going to get back up. And if we get knocked down, we're going to get back up uh, again. Um, I got I got. Uh, you know some 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 veterans in there that this is their last go round and they take a lot of pride in it, right? And so then our job is to is to help bring along the young guys to have the same sense of urgency uh, as the uh, as the older guys. Uh, but uh, the last thing I told them uh, before uh, we started the game is is you got to have a love and appreciation for the opportunity. So the opportunity to play, you know, regardless of what your record is, is really is what it's about, right? Do you have an appreciation and a love for the game uh, and your opportunity? And that's where we're going to start, and then we're going to going to build around that as we go back to work on uh, on Sunday. So that we're clear, uh, was Tony Musket available? Yes, he was. He was available, um, and again, more in, a, in an emergency situation, uh, just. You know, trying to to do what's best uh, for him, and just felt like a, another uh, another week without getting hit on it uh, would be uh, would be best for him. So Calandria started because Musket's health was iffy. Is that? You know, it was it was it was a decision for the program, right? And and also for Tony. And Tony could have went, uh, but he's still a little bit sore, and so I didn't didn't want to put him in that situation. Um, and then obviously, you know, Calandria played well. Um, and so uh, that's that's the decision there for the for the long term, you know, uh, health of the season, and then also uh, for uh, for Tony Musket. Uh, he's not fully ready to go. Uh, then I don't I don't want to put him out there and risk, you know, taking another shot on the shoulder too early. And Malcolm Green, Westfall, what was Westfall? Yeah, is no, it was just. Uh, 
after we evaluated the tape, uh, it was they've been battling uh, all all camp and in the games, and uh, we knew it was going to be a, a game where they were going to try and attack the field with the perimeter, and uh, and just felt like Malcolm gave us uh, uh, the better option uh, in this uh, in this game. Jack um, made a change on the O line with Brian yep. Stevens going center and Frank yep. Clark. How would you evaluate? I know you want to watch film, but just I mean, you know, I th I, I thought that the snaps for the most part were were where they needed to be. Um, you know, we had production uh, on the offensive line. Um, obviously, we, we, we gave up a couple sacks there late, uh, but uh, but I think it was a, it was a, it was a good decision to to make that move uh, for this game, and we'll evaluate the tape to see if that's uh, long term uh, where we need to be. Uh, but overall, you know, coming out of it, I felt like it was the right decision, and and, and I felt like on the field, uh, it played out uh, that way as well. We get a last question from Greg. Uh, did you expect Malik Washington to be? much of a contributor for you guys? I did. I did after watching him um, since he came in. Uh, he's uh, He was very productive at, uh, at Northwestern. Uh, he's uh, he's a, a great leader. You know, he practices hard. He works hard. Uh, he's a student of the game. Uh, so definitely expected him to, uh, to come in uh, and do the things uh, that he's doing.